Hey there YouTubers, this is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Welcome back. Today we're going to learn a really quick trick to send an email using Microsoft Excel using Visual Basic. So to get started right away we're going to hit Alt F11 and now we're in the Visual Basic Editor. Let's go ahead and click here and insert a new module. Inside the module we'll create a new procedure and all you have to do is type sub, type the spacebar and type your name for your procedure. Uh, let's call this macro uh, mail test and hit enter. Now that we're in the macro we can begin to write our code and the code is really simple for this one. It is actually, um, let's see, I believe it's application dot send mail. No, oops, it's not application. Uh, okay, let's use active workbook dot send mail, excuse me. And uh, at this point, you can either hit tab to complete, or you can hit the space bar, and it'll automatically complete that word. You see there's uh, recipients, comma, you can put a subject if you wish. You can see that that part is optional because it's got brackets. And the third optional part is return receipt. So uh, let's go ahead and add some recipients. Let's... Uh, well, let's see. Uh, we we know that we can send an email to my good friend construction how to at gmail dot com. And um, let's see when I hit comma. I don't think I want to. Uh, well, let's see what was it message. Oh oh oh! I see. Uh, here's something you're going to run into. As soon as you type this dot, it's going to take all your prompts away. And I found that uh, it's kind of a duh thing, but you need to put your email address in quotes. And then when you hit comma, it'll say that you're on the right track again. Subject in quotes, but uh, howdy. And I'm not going to worry about a return receipt. I'm going to hit um, close parentheses expected equals. Uh, okay, I'm going to take the parentheses away. Now that I realized why that uh, the prompts went away. Anyway, active workbook dot send mail. And quite simply just put the email that you want to send it to, what you want to put in the subject line. Uh, really, more realistically, I'd probably put something like this. Here's my current workbook for the week. If you wanted to get real creative, you could put for the week of and use an ampersand to join that with, uh, let's just say date. Now, if I use date and I don't surround it by quotes, that'll actually put the current date. Let's try that. Hit F8. All right, let's put something in the workbook so it has a little meat to it. Now, um, what I've been reading is typically it will put the most recently saved version but I'm going to put that to the test. I have not saved this. This would be a temporary save if anything. So hit F8, F8 and let's run this. Now I don't have Outlook, I have Incredimail. So okay here we go, Incredimail is saying warning a silent message is about to be sent. Another application is trying to use your Incredimail to send an email. Well I know that, it's not a secret. Please, please choose show to see the message first. You can click send to just go ahead and send it or you can cancel. Let's click show just for fun. Now I don't think you have these uh, issues when you have um, Outlook. But look at there. Here's my current workbook for the week of 9-4-2013. Why well, that's our code is it not for the subject? It's going to constructionhowto at gmail.com and there's the book 1.xlsx and I don't know about all this junk, but oh well. We're we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and not send it, but anyway, you can use active workbook dot send mail. Um, you can also use uh, this workbook dot send mail. Okay, it's uh, either way. Uh, but anyway, that's pretty much it. And thank you for watching. And we'll be. We'll be connecting with Outlook and toying around with some more fun things that you can do with Outlook once you connect with that. Um, you can
can actually change the subject and you can add a bunch of stuff to the subject and there's a lot you can do with those attachments and things like this you can attach multiple um, things, files, workbooks, whatever you want um, you can add multiple attachments like I said and just all kinds of things anyway we'll get into that soon but uh, that's pretty much it for application or ap active workbook dot send mail um, and uh, if you're wondering how to send more than one email I believe you have to create an array um, because you can't just put another comma after that uh, if you need we'll explore that in another video so just put your comments down there if you need more explanation. Thanks for watching. God bless.